Well, might as well give a channel update since we've been doing this for, wow, almost a year. Probably a year now. Ah, and a lot is, uh, as I garbage may make sure there's lots of noise. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, so we're going to give a, give a little channel update because I got a lot of projects and, um, I, uh, yeah, it's a lot. So let me just start easy. I'll start with the, uh, Toronado, uh, the 66 Toronado that was basically just sitting there, hadn't run, couldn't stop since, uh, 2019, 2018. It'd been a long time. And there's a video for the little, the whole series right there. And uh, it's running now. And uh, we're going to uh, have to do full drums and shoes on it because they're perished. And it needs an alternator. And I'm going to go to a local place in uh, Tampa where they, they've been doing business for a long time. It's going to be. It's place Ralph's and uh, they, 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 they make good, very good work. It's one of those local places you just go get stuff made. So it's not made in China. So we'll be doing some more work um, soon. Maybe when it cools down a little bit, when it's not a thousand every day. Uh, the other car is uh, this one, the uh, 69 uh, Super B. My uh, buddy ordered front uh, brakes to be rebuilt because it has the four piston calipers and uh, yeah you can't buy new ones so he sent them off and months later they came back and he's getting stainless steel uh soft lines uh the braided steel uh, so you know we don't ever touch them again get rid of the rubber and we're going to convert that to dot five and hopefully we'll be doing that in the next month or two just depends whenever you get everything in the back order Everything's on back order now. It's terrible. Either it's garbage or it's on back order. So then, of uh, the cars I have here, we're going to walk over now this, uh, to the uh, convertible that we uh, did the cross-country drive in. She looks a little different now. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video on this convertible top. I uh, did this myself with the help of my assistant slash daughter. And uh, it's from it was it's a Robin's top, just like original. Very nice. We, um, you know, if you even clean the rims up, look how nice those rims are. I mean, uh, those, those it, you know, they're so nice. I don't want to change them. They look good. Um, also, we uh, went and I bought a. Let's see, I have a young driver driving this oh it's warm let me start her up i put in this uh ssl radio it kind of floats so it's not in the way really in the way of everything you can take that off so it's not so bad and um it's pretty neat it's got a giant screen seven inches it has a backup camera which is just awesome help help a young driver but that was a nightmare i i didn't film doing this because it was it was there was too much too much foul language for this channel so that's pretty much and of course here we might as well show because i did the, t the tension straps in here and i have a whole Whole video on this. Hey, watch this. Watch this thing just do what it's supposed to do. And then folds down. And it is a. And look at that. It has gone down. Remember when we drove this. Back cross country in this series of videos, the uh, 
that we couldn't do that. And of course, we actually have the uh, the shit because we actually transported this all the way back in the back of the car. That's the the windbreak. It's actually pretty neat. So then, okay, it looks like it's gonna rain. So we'll do this. And then, of course, semi, semi-automatic. And we put the windows back up. And there's that. So that is the update on this car. I just, oh, the door panels, door panels will be next because they're, yeah, these door panels just need TLC. Oh, that's all right. So let's start with my my older car. So, uh, the E30, the, the 89 325i. Yeah, last time we saw this, I broke the shifter in half. And um, right now, I'm going to have a video on changing it because they don't really send instructions. See, there's no shifter there. And um, so I am working on that right now. So that, that's going to be a, a, a video. It's going to be a how-to. And the, the thing is, the shifter setup in this is very similar to the E36 and E46, especially with the type of shifter I'm putting in, which is it's, it has a stabilizer cup. It doesn't use a little friction, so stay in there. Uh, so that, that, that's coming along. And uh, I have a few other little things to do to it. And, you know, hey, it has a quarter million miles on it. So we'll, uh, we'll get it a break. So, and, of course, we'll uh, get some really bad lighting going on here. But the charger. I, I took, I've taken her out a few times. Yes, I know there's a cover sitting on top of it. It's, it's cover. I just, where am I going to put it? I've taken it out a few times uh, to a couple of local thing, cruise-ins. It's running amazing right now the air conditioning is almost there if i had known about convert the converting how hard it would be to keep it right i would have never done it i would have kept it 12 i can buy 12 all day long and uh yeah I, i've been kind of neglecting doing any work on it i i, I had to check the radiator i haven't been able to get to that i want to kind of re adjust the front grill bumper and all and a little more work on the doors for alignment and I, I had to check some voltage issues so that you know that that's the update on the on the uh project cars and of course you know i'm doing a video on the tow the the, the tow vehicle out there because um i did uh how to do a differential because i need that tow vehicle because in um a month not even a month oh my god Three weeks, three and a half weeks, I'm going up to uh, Mo Party in um, Bowling Green. I'm going to be buying a trailer, so we may even, I think we're going to have a little adventure with the trailer thing. And um, I'm going to tow the Charger up to Bowling Green and do better than I did last year at drag racing because last year I was running with seven cil cylinders and a vacuum loop. I had a broken valve spring on number six, and oh yeah, I had a massive leak. Uh, on the intake manifold. So we're going to be going up to Mo Party. And I'm, I'm going to film that entire trip up. Uh, the whole excitement of what's going on there. It's, it's going to be awesome. Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, going. Uh, hopefully there's a break in the weather up there because I am tired of 95 degrees every day. I'm, it's getting old. Uh, you know, so there is what, you know, what's happened and what's going to be going on and uh can't wait i just can't wait to uh to get rolling with uh when it starts cooling off we can do even more stuff but uh, i thank you all for watching and uh you know and those who've subscribed and if you haven't subscribed yet and you, you kind of like old cars and kind of like fixing things and of all types because we don't just fix just old cars we fix a lot of different things you know subscribe 
it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't take any extra time of your day. And if you subscribe to my channel, other automotive channels will start popping up in your feed. So you can kind of have a whole thing going on there. And uh, always comment um, any type of thoughts on any of the things I've been working on uh, or stuff you're working on. And you want me to do a video about it? Sure, absolutely. Uh, I've done a lot of things in my life, so that would be awesome. And uh, as always, thank you very much. And as I always say, and I mean this, if you have a, you know, a classic or a cool car, even that car's kind of cool because it's convertible. You drop the top on it, kind of cruise the beach, you know, the, uh, the, other, the other half, you know, has a Bronco. You know, we're going to have some fun with that, hopefully. Maybe do a video with all that type of stuff. And, um, you know, we can, uh, you know, like I said, Take them out. It'll make your day, and it'll make someone else's. Because I can't tell you how many people, even with this E30, when I brought it out, people just absolutely stopped. And they talked about having one or seeing one or remembering riding in one. It's a whole thing. Cars are like a time machine. So, all right. Thanks a lot. And uh, you're going to have a lot more uh, of me actually working really soon. Catch you down the road. You know, you write stuff out and then you just forget things. Because the other thing I want to talk about and we're going to do as part of this update, you know, where I'm going to talk about it a little more in depth. Uh, and this is, I mean, this is not the prettiest, but it's effective, is my air conditioning setup. But I'm going to do a little thing, a little, little video of what I did to uh, kind of make it so I can keep it from being miserable in here because yeah so that's going to be a whole video on trying to uh weatherproof your garage because it is um it's something very necessary if you want to keep working on it in winter and summer so i knew that i forget something you know like oh well all right catch you down the road